Hello, I'm Zhu Xuanlin, and today I will share our team's paper Camera Focal Lens from Distance in a Single Image. First, I will give a brief introduction to the background of the study. Camera calibration aims to obtain the internal or external parameters by a single image or multiple images. In our work, we focus on obtaining the internal parameters of the camera, which we call intrinsics, using the single image. Camera calibration plays an important role in many computer vision tasks, including depth estimation, 3D reconstruction, obtaining bird's eye views, and so on. Hence, several kinds of methods estimating camera focal lens from a single image are explored to accommodate different uses scenes. The first kind of calibration method tends to be the most precise, for it is constructed on the calibrators which have a known and detailed structure. The second is based on image cues, which limit the application range to images with specific patterns. The third kind is deep learning based, which can be applied to any image. Our question is, how to estimate the focal length for an early photograph? The calibration method based on the calibrator cannot be applied because the calibrator is not present and the method of deep learning can be considered, but it has a large error. By observation, we found that a small number of objects are present, for example, the bridge. We can measure the length of each part of the bridge. Therefore, we then consider using the presence of some distance information in the photo to help calculate the internal parameters. Now I will start to introduce our method. We use a pinhole camera model, which contains five camera intrinsics. Since we only focus on the intrinsic parameters, the model is described as a linear transformation from the camera coordinate system to the pixel coordinate system. We use the distance information to estimate the intrinsics of the camera model. The distance information is the distance between mark points in the 3D space. As shown in the figure, we label four points and give some of the distance between them. We use a capital DIJ to indicate whether the distance between two points is given or not. ND is used to indicate the number of distances given. Based on the definition of distance in 3D space, we transform the optimization problem by summing the squares after subtracting the corresponding terms. To enforce the system makes sense, the number of equations must be no fewer than the number of unknowns. The equation above minimizes the error between the given distance and the predicted distance of two points. This means that long edges in the scene will dominate the energy. However, this idea is unrealistic because the accuracy of intrinsic estimation will be affected by the accuracy of distance measurement, which is uncertain for different lengths. Therefore, each turn of the energy is divided by the corresponding square distance in order to eliminate this effect. An ablation experiment was also performed to confirm the effectiveness of this improvement. For estimating just the focal lens, we simplify the camera model with common assumption. They include central principal point, square pixels, and zero skew. In this case, the focal lens is the only intrinsic we estimate which requires at least four points and five distances between them as a necessary condition for the solution. In our experiments, we encounter a scale problem when the depth of all marked points is very close to each other. With the model simplified, the definition of distance between 3D points is actually changed to the equation above. In this case, when the difference between zi and zz is close to zero, 
The distance will remain unchanged when f and z correspondingly scale. Hence, the optimizer will be unstable because it cannot find a constant scale to match the distance. To circumvent the issue, we introduce the notion of depth disturbance. We disturb the depth of one randomly selected marked point, for example point K, by adding an increment of depth. Further introducing notions RZ, we then consider that all marked points have the same depth if RZ is less than or equal to eta. Then we use the new distance for solution again. At this point, the optimizer will tend to find a constant scale to match the distance after the disturbance and therefore will be stable. To solve the optimization problem, we used some evolutionary algorithms to find the minimum. We conducted an experiment to identify the best optimization algorithm among several candidates in SciPy for solution. Based on the result, we selected a global optimization algorithm named differential evolution and a local optimization algorithm LBFGSB with 10 random initial points to check. We finally define CFLD as the approach to compute camera focal length from distance by combining the local optimization and the normalized distance with depth disturbance. Now I will present our experiment part. Since most of our need were to recover the focal length from ancient garden photos, we first took some outdoor photos with garden elements and measured their distance information. In addition, we also collected some photos of indoor and other themes. We ended up with a total collection of 189 photos. Most commonly used focal lengths are covered because most people are accustomed to using a focal length between 28 and 15 mm. Stability refers to the ability of multiple calculation results to remain unchanged under the same situation. In our method, when multiple available distance data appear in the same image, the results of focal length estimation should be relatively close. So we took an image containing seven rectangles and used each of these rectangles to calculate the focal length. We find that the results without triggering the scale program are clustered together, and the depth disturbance technique enables the results of triggering the scale program to be closer to the true value. We have also studied other factors that may affect the performance of our method. For details, please refer to our paper. We compare our method with Sun's method which often applies as a standard procedure for calibrating cameras. Sun's method is not as accurate as our method when testing on a single image, but achieves an equal effect using five photos. It reaches the best result using six photos for multiple images are required to achieve better accuracy. In terms of the need for data, our method needs the edge length of the checkable grid which is equivalent to the work coordinates of corner points of the grid using Sun's method. However, our method can apply to all images with distance information, no limited to checkerboards, making the calibration of images without calibration objects more accurate. We also compare the results of our approach versus several methods. The first method is GIST plus random forest which uses GIST, a global descriptive feature commonly used for scene recognition, to train a collection of 10 regression trees on the training set of Diffocal. Diffocal is the second baseline method, which uses a basic AliceNet regression model to fit the horizontal field of view. The third one is a deep learning based method, DeepClip which is an open source work estimating focal length and distortion. Our method outperforms all methods on the images we collected. Our method requires four points and five distances among them to estimate the focal length. It is a pretty strict requirement. However, 
If we have some distance information that does not satisfy this requirement for a direct solution on the image, we can estimate the focal length first using other methods such as deep learning methods and then use the distance data we have to optimize it. After all, distance information improves the accuracy of the other methods in general, which demonstrates the improved meaning of distance information. To illustrate the wide range of applications of our method, we give two simple applications. The first is distance estimation. As estimating depth information at the same time, our algorithm can directly obtain the distance from the depth of mark points. The distance error fluctuates around 2 cm. The second is perspective transformation. With the focal length of a camera, we can also transform the perspective of an image taken by the camera. It is useful for obtaining the bird's eye view of a row. The bird's eye view obtained using our estimated focal length is very close to that of using the true focal length. Many computer vision tasks require camera intrinsics of images. Existing methods either require a specific object or still lack accuracy. We propose to estimate the camera focal length of a single image using distance information, which is more readily available in images than calibration objects, and is able to enhance the camera focal length estimation. Our method performs better than deep learning based methods and basically achieves the results of the calibration method on the single image, although it has some way to go. We illustrate the application space and actual effect of our method through two applications. We find the depth disturbance trick to alleviate the scale problem that our method suffers from. In the future, we will try to solve this problem and extend the present method to more complex camera models. Thank you for your attention.